Hey everyone, my name is Suresh. Uh, we have been learning uh, the basics of uh, Vagrant so far. Uh, in this video, we are going to learn about networking. Okay, so uh, why do we need to learn about networking? Uh, let me give you an example. If you have gone through all my previous videos, then uh, you know that we are in a state uh, where we have uh, a virtual machine uh, which has uh, Apache server running in it. Uh, but uh, you cannot access uh, the Apache server uh, from outside, not even from the host machine. Um, if, if it is a web application and uh, you know outsiders or users cannot access it, then it's of no use, right? Now, through these concepts, uh, we can uh, make it visible to outside world. So that's why we need to learn about networking. Uh, in Vagrant, uh, Vagrant gives uh, three networking options. Uh, through which you can uh, expose your uh, virtual machine uh, to the outside world. The first one is called uh, forwarded ports. Uh, the second one is uh, host only or uh, private networks. And uh, the third one is called uh, bridged or public networking. Uh, in this video, we are going to uh, see about uh, forwarded ports or port forwarding. So this is where we have left uh, in our previous uh, video. Uh, so we are running a virtual machine in this folder. Uh, at this time I, I, I would like to have only the Apache server running. I would uh, like to remove the other provision and uh, other uh, softwares. So that to just uh, make it faster. So uh, in this vagrant file right now I have just Apache 2. Uh, and then what uh, I would do, I would uh, say Vagrant uh, reload so that it reloads all the configurations and uh, it will just uh, restart the virtual machine as well. Uh, let's wait and see what happens here. Now uh, we have uh, just uh, uh, restarted the virtual machine with a new configuration. Uh, let's get into the virtual machine and uh, the same thing what we did in, my, in our last uh, video. You, you can see that uh, yeah, the Apache server is running and it is uh, serving uh, the index.html file, right? Uh, Let's uh, find out its IP address. It's a ten dot zero dot two dot fifteen. Let's uh, get let's get this IP and uh, get rid of this virtual machine. I'm in my uh, host machine. From here, I try to uh, connect to that uh, IP address. Yeah, you can see nothing happens or I can uh, ping so that you would see yeah the timing out is happening well, that means you are not able to access uh, uh, the virtual machine from your host machine right we are going to make it accessible from our host machine the very first uh, uh, networking option which we are going to use is uh, port forwarding well, let's get into my uh, configuration in my configuration uh, there is one uh, line here just uncommented what it says uh, is that uh, uh, the network option is a forwarded port and uh, uh, this is uh, the guest uh, machine's port number then uh, the host uh, machine's port number 8080 it says that uh, whenever the host uh, uh, gets any request on port number 8080 all the request uh, should be uh, forwarded to the guest machine's port number 80. The 80 is the uh, port where we run our Apache. So all the requests uh, would be served by the Apache server. But let's see how it uh, works. Let me say this, so reload it again. So it's going to reload the configurations. So now uh, the Vagrant uh, has restarted uh, the virtual machine with the new configurations. Um, what I would do here, uh, let me try to ping 
or call this I'm trying to call my uh, host machines uh, port uh, 8080 so ideally this should be forwarded to guest machines port and the request uh, should be served by uh, the Apache server which is running inside the virtual machine yes so that works uh, that means uh, your virtual machine is accessible in your local area network can access uh, my uh, this virtual machine from my mobile device uh, let me show you the example I need to find out uh, the IP address so this is uh, the IP address of my host machine yeah so let's uh, go to my oh, this is uh, this is my mobile device uh, let me change the IP address to let me access yeah, it's not going to give anything because I need to give the port number port number 8080 let me hit it uh, here you go so you can see the page uh, this is uh, the same page which is uh, being served by the virtual uh, machine that means uh, your virtual machine can be accessed uh, on your local area network uh, by any machine it's open to everyone so that's the security concern like uh, because um, if it is in your local area network it's okay uh, but still uh, others would be able to uh, check uh, what service you are running on that port uh, now how are we going to solve this one uh, that's where uh, we have to use a private network option uh, before that uh, let me give you some more uh, uh, interesting things about uh, this uh, port forwarding let's go here what I'll be doing uh, let me uh, create a folder here called uh, maybe server 2 there's a folder and let me copy uh, this file into I'm, I'm just uh, copying uh, 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 the existing vagrant file uh, into my new folder uh, called a server 2 mm, so that from there I can uh, create a virtual machine you can see that the file is existing here let me open that file okay I've just opened it so this is my uh, server 2 and uh, it has the same uh, port forwarding like same ports um, it is trying to forward uh, guest machine uh, um, it is uh, it is the same configuration uh, let me split uh, this pane also and uh, let me get into server 2 uh, now what happens uh, let me run virtual machine so this is going to pick up uh, the new newly copied uh, configuration file and uh, try to create a virtual machine uh, it failed uh, it says that uh, we cannot uh, use this configuration that means uh, the host uh, is already forwarding the 8080 to some virtual machine okay that's the first virtual machine which we created that is already mapped uh, to 8080 of host machine so you cannot uh, again uh, map to 8080 uh, that's what it says uh, so you what you can do is that you can uh, go to your configuration and uh, you can change it to some other address 8181 uh, now you can uh, run this command now it's going to rest um, it it's going to create a virtual machine uh, then uh, do the port forwarding oh that's also already in use hmm so you know this is like uh, it's 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 like uh, uh, not mm, it, it wastes my time so what I would do there is one configuration called uh, 
auto correct if you set this one true then it's going to uh, use any existing port that is available in the host machine so you don't need to deal uh, directly with the whole port number uh, so you don't know which port it is going to create but you can find out that that's not uh, difficult uh, Uh, okay, so now uh, it has uh, started the virtual machine. Uh, let's uh, call this. Uh, okay, to call, I don't know which uh, port number it is mapped to. Uh, so there is a command uh, to see that. Uh, you type in vagrant port, it's going to tell you which port uh, the AT is mapped to. Uh, here now you can see that uh, it's mapped to uh, 2201. So that's what. Uh, the host machines port. Now when I hit that uh, uh, entry point I'm getting the response uh, from the virtual machine. Mm, same you can uh, run it in our previous virtual machine folder as well. There we know exactly how it is so because uh, we have mentioned uh, mm, we have uh, mentioned these port numbers in our configuration so you notice something here uh, the port number uh, is picked up from uh, double to zero one uh, there is a range uh, by which uh, the vagrant would automatically uh, allocate the ports uh, let me show you that so it's going to be something like this uh, so the port uh, range is going to be uh, uh, between uh, 2200 to 2250 uh, this by default but you can uh, customize uh, this range uh, usually what I do is that um, mm. I use uh, ephemeral ports or short-lived uh, port ranges uh, for most of the Linux uh, kernels it's going to be between uh, 3 to let me change it this it's going to be three two seven six eight two six one uh, zero zero so there is a port uh, range uh, this is what uh, usually I use uh, in my projects um, uh, this is safe you can use this range uh, without any problem uh, let's see how it is going to reload now I'm reloading it but I've given uh, uh, my own custom range so it should pick up one of uh, these available ports so you can uh, see using the same command uh, do you see that put 80 smap to 32768 in 22 which is a uh, SSH port that is mapped to 32769 so all the ports will be mapped uh, picked up from uh, this range uh, which is useful so you can uh, just guess it you know how it is going to uh, be uh, so uh, this what all about uh, port forwarding in Vagrant um, as you know that now your virtual machine is accessible from outside world uh, but uh, some scenarios you don't want to do that you just want to restrict uh, the access only uh, to the host machine uh, or, or uh, the known uh, machines known host mm, how do you do that uh, that we would see in the next tutorial uh, thank you so much for watching uh, please subscribe to my channel uh, see you again